What's that fella's name? Put a crown on in the sea. Aquam Aquaman. Aquaman. Do I look like Aquaman? No. You look like his granddad. <laughs> Captain, Captain Pugwash. You're my wife, you see it. I'm Brian College, and in my spare time, I fish Northwest UK waters in search of a double figure carp. Spending hours on the bankside, striving to get you the best fishing content. I'll bring you fishing with my family and with my friends and also with the mighty chat. Fishy, fishy, wongo, 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 fishy. Oh, fishy, fishy, wongo, wongo, fishy. Oh, oh, oh. Do you like that? Welcome to Aquatic College. Well, good morning, welcome to Aquatic College. My name is Bry, and today is the final of the Mighty Chad competition, and we are here on Brookside Fishery, and we're on Kingfisher Lake. So it's myself, Chad, and the boss lady. And uh, yeah, it's the final. We had the third round in October last year at Wrightington, um, where I was in the middle peg and blanked. Um, and today we're back at Brookside. Uh, I'm on Kingfisher Lake and I'm in the middle again, so I'm hoping I don't blank. Uh, the scores from session three were Carol's on 25 points, uh, Chad's on 34 points, and I'm on 65 points. So I've got a healthy lead going into this final round, but I'm just nervous. Um, anyone watching my videos, I've spent the last six sessions doing specimen campaigns, so coming back to a runs water, I'm really nervous. But the weather's nice, looks like it's going to be really hot and sunny today, I think it's going to get up to like 18, 19 degrees today. Um, so we're, sat, we're sun facing the sun, so hopefully our margins warm up and uh, we catch some fish. So keep on watching and hopefully we'll bring you more fish than my last six uploads. I'll see you in a bit. Now in the Mighty Chad competition, we have a point system. For a double figure carp, we get four points. For a carp over five pounds, we get three points. For a carp under five pounds, we get two points. And we also get two points for the biggest carp. Now all the rods are in, let's see how the day pans out. In already. Doing a bit of fighting. Good. It's a nice one. We'll do with this next week. 
It's definitely over five pounds. Lovely, well done Carol. So this is Carol's absolutely stunning common carp and it's 8.2 pounds which gives her three points and so far there'll be two points for the biggest fish. Absolutely cracking. Well first of all we'll see the boss lady. Good morning. Good morning. You had a fish already? Yeah. Nice 8.2 pound. Yeah, it was nice. So you're now on 28 points. Yeah, plus I might have the two. And two points for the yeah. biggest. Yeah, so I'm creeping up. So you'll be on 30, so you're four points behind Chad now. Do me. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do me. And you are in the, the magic spot. Yeah which is down off those reeds down there. There's loads of fish jumping there this morning. Seems to have stopped a bit, but they'll be there. Let's keep on feeding it up. Signs all over though. Yeah, I was going to say, I have to change my spot. And it is only 3 o'clock in the morning. Exactly. Not even Early breakfast day. time yet. Not even breakfast. Lovely day though. Beautiful. Beautiful. I can't believe how many people are on here. No, it's rammed today. There's at least five down that side. There's some dodgy bloke over some dodgy bloke over in that corner. Oh yeah, well. Looks like he's asleep. Just be careful when you approach that. Yeah, yeah, oh well. <laughs> approach with caution. Yes. And then there's some guy down there. Yeah, but, yeah. Down there. So yeah, I'm gonna go and uh, speak to the mighty Chad, but have a lovely day. I'm sure I'll be back again in a minute with another, with another fish. I'll give you a shout. Yes. Well done. All Tight right. lines. Just beat, Tight. just Tight beat, lines. just beat Chad. That's all I just, just beat Chad. Well, beat me as well. No, I won't beat, well, I might beat you on the day, but, you know, you're too far in front anyway. No, it's, but, do you catch ten of those fish? This is a new year, new start. Yeah, but you've already got, you've already got five points. I know. If you catch 10 fish, see the jump in there now, at the, the back again. I bet your rod goes in the next five minutes. Yeah. Bet you. If it does, you can run back, Brian. Oh, okay. You're fishing up now. Oh, I've got my trainers on. Good. All right, catch you in a bit. See you in a bit. And then, this is my peg in the middle. And as I said before, I was casted to this bush. Um, but there's been a, quite a few fish jumping off here now, so I've casted out there. And I've got my alarm on, even though I hate alarms, and I've got my little gadget, so it beeps in my pocket. So if I'm filming somebody else and my rod goes off, I am being responsible. So now we'll go and see the mighty Chad. He's being really quiet in the corner. I'm old, Good morning. Good morning. How are you today? Tired. You're tired? Very tired. I was up with that hour. It's unhuman getting up at this time in the morning. Quarter past five in the morning. You should be like a kid at Christmas. You should be excited. Oh, not what, that time. It's, the, it's the grand final of the Mighty Chad I competition named is. after you. I know it is. But I was so tired this morning, my girl. Oops. Not to worry. What happens if I say Baby baby baby. Baby baby baby, 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 that's, baby, that's baby. more like it. That's it. More like it. <laughs> She's looking at me as though I'm bloody mental. Uh, she normally does anyway. 33 years. Yep. 33 years. Poor Carol. And she still thinks, I'm shooting that one, but it's coming to her. Is it's it a big one? Me, yeah, massive. It went right towards you all. Oh, God, hopefully. So you casted off the island just below where those geese are, are you? Well, just yeah. In front of me, yeah. And how did you do under the tree? Nothing, because not, that's well, normally I a hot got, spot. I got fast twice. You got what? I got stuck twice. Did you? Snags? Mm. And some bread. Just out of here, I might go. <coughs> I might go at the end of it. That's where I used to go, about the end. About the end. Yeah. Well, about two thirds. Yeah. Oh well. Well, good luck. There's a fish. Yeah, there's a fish there off the. Uh, off. Uh, 11 here. You walked, did you walk? There's a fish there, just off the, uh, just off that point there. A little yeah. swirl on the top. 
Yeah, there's been a couple there. Well, good luck, Chad. You tell me out, mate. Carol's now on 28 points and two points for the biggest so far. She's on 30. She's only four points behind you now. Oh, well. So. Different point system next time, though, isn't it? It is. It's going to be on based be on weight. Better. On weight, so you, you won't do well. She normally catch skimmers, but yeah. Maybe we won't normally catch skimmers. Mm hmm. I don't catch babies. You don't catch baby, any? Baby, 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 baby. baby, 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 baby. <laughs> right, well, good luck, and I'll, hopefully, I'll see you in a bit with the fish. Okay, then. Love you. Catch you, bye. Bye. It's now 10.35. And finally, we've got another fish. And it's Carol again. Same spot? Not quite, but that area. It's like a decent one, where your rod's bent. Not fighting as much, so I don't think it's as big. No, the bigger ones don't fight as much, they just plod. <laughs> the less erratic. Nice swirl. Rod's proper bent. Mm. Yeah. Oh no, not as big. Uh, not getting the net yet. No, it's simply here. Uh, I'd say about three, three or four pounds. Another two points though. Cracking, well done Carol. I don't think you need to weigh that one. Uh, I'll weigh it to be on the safe side. So this is Carol's second fish. Nice common carp that won't keep still. And it's three and a half pounds, which gives her another two points. And what is it, Carol? It's a baby, 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 baby. baby, 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 baby. baby. Go that way. Well that was me hooking a fish, only for the hook to pull straight away. Quarter to twelve. Still no fish for me. And I've tried just off this bush here. Had a couple of liners earlier on. I've also tried off this bush here. There was a few swirls I had a liner. Uh, but currently, I fired some pellets back out of here, and that's where I had the fish on and lost it earlier on. And there's a few swirls, I've just had another liner, so I'm back out against the island. With the, with the sun being here, normally the margins are really good when they've warmed up. But, uh, it's a really, really quiet. Other than Carol, that's had two. Chad's not had a bite at all, and he's in possibly my favourite spot, my second favourite spot, which is off this tree. And he's had nothing. So, really slow, you can see the rings now. Off that tree. So, I'm hoping they're going to swim around to mine. I just want one fish. I don't want to blank. I've not blanked at all this year. Even though some of my 2020 campaigns with the 
size of the small fish I caught, especially last week with the carp and the small bream. Um, it felt like a blank. I can't blank on a run's water, surely. It's really nice now. Just gonna get some lunch and uh, enjoy the sun. Quarter past 12. Then Chad's in. No? Baby, 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 baby. It's a fish though, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, was that to the island? Three and a half, four pound, I reckon. Yeah. Cracking. Well done, Chad. So, Chad's nice common carp turned out at 4.8 pounds, which is just under the five pound bracket, so he gets two points. Well, my swim was dead, and I was watching the geese on the nearby island. One thing I like to do, in between bites, is appreciate the local nature. So my minute interval this week is watching this family of Canada geese. It's nice to appreciate the simple things. Now let's get back to the fishing. Oh, you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> I was expecting something like that from you. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, me telling me what you were nearly going to do. <laughs> I, I know you, you were. I was sneaked I, up on I you. I felt that like that. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> and here we have the Good mighty you. Chad's merch. Good I'm looking at your merchandise. Oh, eh? Fishy, fishy, crap, crap. No, crap, crap. Oh, they spelt it wrong. No, crap, no, crap. Right. Not crap, crap. Who's your crap, crap one today? Come on. I'm so, yeah, it. let me have a look at the back. Oh, yeah, look better from the back. <laughs> fishy, fishy, <laughs> crab, crab. It... What's wrong with the merchandise? Nothing. Oh, you're modelling it as well. Oh, let me right. see. Let me see. Is this why you two have caught and I've planked? It could quite well be, you know. It's the motto. Oh, Carol says fishy, fishy, crab, crab on hers. 
You've hey? got a fishy fishy crap crap on yours. Don't yeah. fishy fishy crap crap. <laughs> Who's that you? Who's here? Now here we have Brian. You can put an H in just because you've got a camera. No, here. Okay. Uh, it's a posh now. Here. Oops, stop. Go straight. Here mm. we have Brian. This is David Attenborough. Which is, no, 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 no. Here. Here. At Brookside. At, we have the Brian. Here at Brookside. We have the Brian. The mighty Brian. I'm not very mighty today, am I? And he's not very mighty today because he's caught no, no fish. He's, he's and there. There are, we are fishy fishy Mrs. Crab Crab. I don't know, I think he thinks he's got to. Do you think he's David Attenborough? It's really Adler, right? funny because he used to have um, a little video camera. Oh, yeah. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah. Why are you talking? Why are you going all Because yeah, once Postman wants filming, you know. Oh. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. I, I thought you were doing a little dance, song and dance for us. Fishy, fishy, Go on. Crab, crab, fishy, crab. Fishy, fishy, crab. Oh, what? Well. You might catch now, you might catch now. Fishy, fishy crab, fish, fish crab, fishy, fishy crab, crab, fish, fish crab. Baby, 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 and I was two years old when the Queen got coronated. Yeah. So it was. It was. I was. I was two years old. Was that over a hundred years ago? Yeah. No, 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 oh, no. Right. Seventy years ago. Wow. Yeah. And coming up seventy-two. And I'm coming up to seventy-two. Yeah. So one has to stay with the Queen. Right. You know. To be honest, the way you can cast, you are a Queen. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Anyway, back to the fishing. Ah, okay. come on, lad. Let's right, come on, let's go. Let's catch a fish, lad. Let's go get back to the fish, lad. Back, can you, lad? <laughs> What's that fella's name? Put a crown on in the sea. Aquam, Aquaman. Aquaman. Do I look like Aquaman? No, you look like his granddad. <laughs> Captain, Captain Pugwash. <laughs> You're my wife, you see. We listen. <laughs> Captain Pugwash. <laughs> 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 You're my wife, you should stick up for me, woman. <sighs> right, no tea for you tonight. Excuse me. <coughs> yeah. Can you please stop handling my tackle. Put it back. Do. <laughs> Do. <laughs> he, li he likes fish nets. Do. <laughs> 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 oh, come on, you caught one. <laughs> well, let's put it back. It's got crabs. <laughs> I'm not going to run away with it, you know. <laughs> yeah, my darling. <laughs> oh. Anything for you, my love? I just want a fish. You want a fish? Yeah. Do you want me to jump in and get you one? No, <laughs> no thanks, Aquaman. <laughs> Captain Pugwash. <laughs> There's literally three fish. Just down there, circling round exactly where my bait is, and they're just not taking anything. They've got to be the thing. See one now. See the shape of it. They're clearing up my bait. My rod's got to go. It's got to. See the plumes coming up. What's that? If you want to run a wind out right, you have to do a song and dance. No. Oh, yeah. I actually don't want to. There's a fish there. Mirror carp. See it kicking up the bottom. Got to be a good bite. Got to be. That's exactly where my bait is. Oh, there's one swimming out. That's caught more than you. Two of them. 
see the dark one and you see the white one next to it. Well, I'm absolutely devastated. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Well, that is it. The match is over for session four. Um, and the scores are Carol, 30 points and two points for the biggest fish. So that gives you 32 points. Correct, correct. Chad, you got two points He's today. So you're pig. on 36 points. Yes. With the baby, 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 baby. baby, baby. baby. And I blanked for the second session in a row. You didn't get a baby. Didn't get anything. Baby, 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 baby. baby, baby. Oh, baby. for God's sake. And uh, I did on 65 points. So that's it for the Mighty Chad competition. No, I didn't catch anything for two week, two sessions. That's it. Um, next session will probably be... Into week. your hero. My. Who? Is my hero. Oh, my hero. <laughs> so sarcastic. Uh, the next competition will be... Oh, my hero. <laughs> fishy, fishy, crap, crap. Um, That's really crap. Yeah, it doesn't, it's not what it means, though. Um, I'm looking up to him. It's come, only because I'm smaller. Come back in, that's it, that's it, yeah. So the next competition we have will be based upon weight rather than points. Yeah. Pound for pound. Pound for pound. Ounces for ounces. And I don't know where the venue is going to be yet. No. Probably be Fan Lodge. No. <laughs> but yeah, no, next we'll come no. back on here. I'm not bothered. We'll come back on here. Yeah. yeah, we'll come back on here then. So yes. But maybe on the other one, around the other side. Yeah. On the other one, on, on that on side. Meadow. On Meadow. Okay, okay so yeah. uh, next competition will be on Meadow. Oh, we'll come pound. on this one. Oh, sure. We'll, we'll, we'll discuss it afterwards. This Poor is, man, he's I, got I, to I try and finish. All, all day. I know. Oh, well, you can go on all over there, sure. You go on that one and we'll go on this one. Yeah! Yeah! I've had so, this for 33 years. I Go know, on. honestly. Um, That's how you sound that now. Ain't it? Ay -ya, ay -ya. <laughs> so uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to stay on for an hour or so. Because he's begging for a fish. <laughs> I need a fish. I hope to God he catches one. So, I hope he gets one. Thank you, you both. You're welcome. welcome. You're and, welcome. Uh, I'll see you in a couple of weeks. Love you. Love you, Love you more. Love you. Love you more. Love you more. Right, bye. Right, see you. I want a fish. I'll see you Saturday because we're on, uh, what do call it, Saturday, aren't we? Oh, yeah, we're back on Fan Lodge. Fan if you Lodge. don't. If you don't already, watch my 2020 videos where I catch fish and Chad blanks. Well, you can now go Did on my still on? Did you still on? Yeah, it's See, still you on. notice me carrying everything again? Yeah, but hey. now... Oh. I can go on, I can go you on can your go peg. You can go on my peg now. Alright. Bye. See you again. Love you. Friend. Nice knowing you, mate. Love you. Love you more. Love you more. Love you more. Oh. 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 <laughs> You're my baby, 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 baby. <laughs> See you later. See you later. Right now I can do some proper fishing. <laughs> hey, well, as you can see, Carol and Chad have gone. I've decided to get my second rod out. So my right hand rod I've casted in against the margin which is my favourite spot where Carol's been fishing today and then my left hand rod I flicked it out off the right hand side of the island where I've been fishing to all day I did a rubbish cast, it hit the bank fell in the side and I thought you know something I'm just going to leave it and within two minutes it's rocketed off and I've got this small little common so it's only five and a half pounds it's not going to be the biggest fish I hope today but it's an absolute blank saver and after how the struggle's been today I'll definitely take it. Mwah. Yuck. I casted that rod back out on the spot. Couldn't have been out more than two minutes. And it shot off again. Another small common, really fat this one. So it's either pregnant or it's been eating the pellets. I've been firing out there all day. But it's my second fish in about five minutes. And uh, 
Let's see if we can get some more. Now this is the sort of action I expected when we said we were fishing kingfisher today. Now my right hand rod's finally gone. And a tiny little common carp. Probably about a pound, pound and a half. Size doesn't matter. It's action on the right hand rod finally. Oh. And my rod's going again, so. What about now, and uh, hopefully they keep on coming. Number four, third one on my left hand rod. And it's another common carp. And it's five and a half pounds, so. Better than the last one. Oh. Rod's tipping again, so I'm going to put it back and uh, a double would be nice to finish. Cracking. Oh, that was absolute carnage. I've got one tiny fish. It's that small. One small fish in the net. And then we've got another one a little bit bigger. Cracking. chaos as I had those fish in the net but I'll flip the rods back out again and both of them have gone again so now I've got two fish in each net so let's have a look at them this is absolute madness I caught two fish it was double run um, I put them in the net unhooked them in the net uh, just so I could get my rods back out again and as I've had them in the net one rod went again and then the other one so now I've got four fish so I'll show you them quickly. So the first one is a small little angry common. I'll put that one back now. The second one is this angry, angry common. Just over five pounds. So I'll put that one back. And the third one is this angry little common. Looks really fat, probably pregnant. So I'll put that one back. And the fourth one is another common. So all cracking fish, that makes it eight in just under two hours. So I'm going to pack down now and uh, see if we can catch one more. Well, you wouldn't believe this after this morning. Number nine, left hand side again. And uh, all my rounds going. So I'll see you in a bit. We just saw, as I was filming that fish, my other rod went, my right hand rod. And another common carp. Biggest one of the day. Just over six pounds. And, uh, 
it's kicking off. So, uh, all commons. I just want one mirror to finish. So I'm definitely going to start packing up now and uh, a mirror will top off a cracking afternoon. Well, I should have maybe been a bit more specific when I said I wanted a mirror to finish. Because I've got a mirror to finish. Just it's a little baby one. This is fish number 11. Lovely little mirror. Mirrors are my absolute favourite fish. And this is a nice fully scaled mirror. So if this is the last fish, I'm more than chuffed. Fish number 12, right hand rod in the margin. Another angry little common, fought like mad, fought way beyond his size. So it's only about two and a half pounds, three pounds tops, but uh, cracking fight from him, and uh, it's another common to add to the list of many today. there was a massive double rolling right next to where my left hand rod was and then my left hand rod screamed off I thought yes finally it and it's another little common this is a little white ghosty I've been watching this with Carol all afternoon swimming up and down the near side margin not taking any bait but finally it swam out to the island off the right hand side and take him a pellet. So it's not the massive double, but uh, beautiful little fish. And it's number 13. Well, fish number 14, and I don't think I've ever caught a fish like this one before. Look at the scales on that. It's absolutely stunning. It's like a metallic gold and silver. I don't know whether they can make that out on the camera. But that is absolutely stunning. Definitely my favourite one of today. Beautiful. Well, fish number 15. And it's my biggest one of the day. Just under seven pounds. Still really, really lively. Just under seven pounds. And uh, hopefully they're getting bigger. There's a lot of big fish rolling now. There's one just rolled right next to my left hand rod. So I wouldn't be surprised if that one goes off next. But uh, cracking, the big fish are starting to come out. This one looks really fat as well. Don't know whether they've been eating loads or they might actually be pregnant. So I'll get it back now, but yeah. Cracking fish. One more rods on the deck. Small little carp on my left hand rod. Number 16. And my right hand rod's going now, so I'm gonna have to go. My word, it's chaos. The last three and a half hours have been absolutely ridiculous. Fish number 17. Another common carp. Exactly five pounds. And uh, I've got 15 minutes left. I'm just doing a pack down. Wouldn't it be good if I could just get to 20, but um, I'm not going to push it. Fish 17, absolutely cracking. I'm just packing up. Rods on the deck. Oh, keep still, fish. Keep still. Keep still. Keep still. Don't jump back in the lake. 
I'm just packing down my rod pod. Oh my word, the big kestrel. Uh, just packing down my rod pod. Rod's on the deck. And I've had the third double runner today. First one's this angry little common carp. Probably about two and a half, three pounds. And the second one is another common. Four and a half pounds, another fat one. I'm guessing they are definitely spawning. So that's number 19. I think that's going to be it. So as always, this is like my third time I'm doing the outro. Uh, as always, thanks for watching. Follow me on all my social medias. Like my video and subscribe if you really want to. If you don't, I don't mind at all. I really appreciate all your support. Um, all the editing and all the filming that goes into these videos. I really do appreciate all your kind comments. I'm up to 440 subscribers now, which is probably not a lot to most people, but to me, it's amazing. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all soon. I was just packing the last of my gear away and then for my fourth double run of the day has ended up in this really really lively small common carp and finally fish 21 which is this absolutely stunning koi carp with blue eyeshadow and this is definitely the last fish of the day. Thanks for watching.